umgobo hi 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 guys hi umgobo hello there hi well hello i'm so awkward right now <laughs> it's been such a while since i've been on the app since i have been on the app so i can't finish a shape like i know go camera i think i'm looking there because it's straight umgobo hi hi Hi, 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 guys, hi, Umko has been doing the most to me, hey? But I guess I have just learned to, um, to survive. Anyway, guys, hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning to my channel. My name is Humozo. I don't have any makeup on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, my lips are so dry oh by the way i'm using this lipstick yeah essence extreme shine fling 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 i got it last week i should actually show you guys my makeup okay sorry i just got a message i should actually show you guys my makeup like what i got and um that it's just that i don't make people feel much wrong because I just don't know how am I going to film. Okay guys, so the purpose of today's video is a mental health life update. It's me opening up to you guys. It's me showing you guys a side that I'm really scared to show. But I was meant to tussle my lip gloss. I was tussing. Yo, where am I looking? Wait. You'd have to have glossy lips. Um, I'm not home right now. Hence, you guys see the different background. Um, I'm going to do my teaching practicals this side. Today, I just wanted to talk to you guys and open up about um, my YouTube journey, my content creation journey, everything in general. Like, it's just a life update. And sometimes I don't feel like doing life updates. Because certain things happen in my life and I'm like, okay, let me update them. And I'm like, but why should I update them, you know? So it's just going to be a random talk, random rant on my channel. Like, vent with me, let's open up, let's chill, let's talk together. Because I am a huge introvert. And just because I'm an introvert, it does not mean that I shouldn't open up myself like that. I think I want to be more um, open. I want to, like, grow and i want to grow with you guys because you guys have been sub to my channel and thank you so much for subbing i truly truly appreciate every single one of you guys that are subbing on my channel although i know i like in consistency and everything in j a lot has happened hey so when i started my youtube channel i had no idea what i wanted to do on my channel i thought i wanted to do lifestyle and motivation but i got tired of it and then i took a break and i was doing my channel on my android phone so if you can see my previous videos you're going to see the quality of the videos and then i bought an iphone this year and having to film on an iphone was very difficult like i would film and then space like to fail like i have 64 gigs on my phone but i had to learn how to um like how to have space on your phone that's when I, I downloaded google drive and i was like okay take all your videos on google drive so that you can uh so that you can put all of the videos there and then you can sorry guys tapping and then you can um do everything else right to be honest with you um I think my biggest problem that I doubt that I struggled with with my channel is doubting myself um, with, with the other challenges that I'm going to discuss as we move along is that I would doubt myself a lot and that's something I want to talk about today and I want to like eliminate self-doubt I want to eliminate those thoughts of negativity and unworthiness because to be honest they can keep you so stagnant and they can hold you in one place and i don't want that for myself because 
I get these ideas every single day, if not all day, every day. And it's like the universe is conspiring in my favor. And they like whispering little bits of magic in my ear. And sometimes I feel like if I'm ignoring them, I can't live. Like I can't breathe. I can't continue because I'm not going to be satisfied if I don't create content like that. So to everyone who has been supporting my channel, thank you, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I'm still trying to find myself. I'm still trying to find my, like, everything, you know. Like, a lot has happened in my life. Like, it's not everything, nothing is a vacuum, you know. A lot has happened. I went through the most this year. But the concave is like a thing. And, boy, now we are here. I am going to make sure that I create content and I let you guys see my personality. Because I tend to not let people in on in my life if you guys see a nail i may i make you get some manala so yeah if you want to know the girl in time i'm going to go to clicks today to buy a few things where do i start oh there's a lot um oh there's a lot my mental health was not okay when i was not filming like i remember last year i wanted to film and filming makes me happy that's something that i never talk about is that filming makes me happy and i'd be so depressed because i wasn't able to film videos i wasn't able to film the way i wanted to my phone was not okay guys filming on an android phone yeah it's, it's not easy especially if it's like an a2 core or something you know so that's when i got a memory card on my samsung phone and when i got a memory card on my samsung phone huh? like hey i was like what home memory card was not working on my phone so the journey of me having my channel and getting to a point where i'm just like you know what yeah yeah it, it was not easy and then also katola iphone and i i know how to film videos and do everything up until this point the problem was music i learned that some of the songs on InShot are not really copyright free you, you like if if you want to check please send them a dm and ask them if the music is copyright free but anyway it's okay i am hoping that um the 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 big youtubers that i'm gonna not big but that like bigger youtube accounts like i'm going to dm them and ask them where you guys get your music because i'm a huge music person and i feel like music makes or break the channel if you don't have good music on your channel like it's going to be boring i am i'm a huge music fanatic and i want that to show on my channel like i want you guys to see that for jayna another thing that happened yeah it, it was the music that gave me an issue because you know you film videos and then how are you going to do anything if you don't have good music on your channel and then my mental health was impacted because i felt very behind in life i felt like i have all these ideas and videos yet i am not acting upon them and that's when i felt like i'm not gonna make it or my youtube journey is too slow or too stagnant and that's when i realized that i'm only feeling this way because i'm measuring my growth according to other people and this is something that i want to talk about is that i would measure my growth you know to other people and i don't like talking about that because it's like i don't really like thinking about myself like that and for the longest time, I would look at what other content creators are doing and try to mimic that and also add a bit of my spice in between. But I learned that the universe blessed me with amazing thoughts, amazing ideas, and I should start to trust myself. If I can tell you guys how many ideas I have for videos on my phone, you would, like, it's, it's wild. It's, it's so crazy. Because every time I, I have an idea, I write it down. I'd be chilling, or maybe if I go to bed, I write down an idea. And also, I have been experiencing a lot of burnout in my life. I Before this time, before I actually moved to this place where I'm currently at, for now, because I'm doing my practicals, I, I was quite stagnant in my life. I think I just had bad habits, and I was, I was not taking care of myself, you know, and I was just... Um, unhappy with my school degree uh, okay I'm studying teaching so obviously you all know that teaching is a degree that you can study right like you can study and build that thing forward and I landed up in teaching because I wanted to originally study for my Bachelor of Engineering but I did not get in because my math marks were too bad hence I settled for teaching and it's not like I went there with the thing uh, um, 
everything is easy how you know teaching you're gonna get there it's easy no like i went there with that i understand that it's teaching and i have to study so i can get a degree and i can have something to fall back on because i'm not gonna go back home without a degree and for the longest time i was not happy in my degree because to be honest i didn't even know if i liked it like it, it it is an occupation that you can do and like but at times you wonder okay i'm very good at teaching when i did my practicals in my first year i was great last year was my second year this is my third year second year i couldn't do my practicals because obviously a uh, corona so i asked myself well, okay you can teach you are a good teacher like teaching is something that you can do because i do feel like even on my channel i am going to teach you guys a lot of things about content creation starting a brand and all these other great things that i have planned but teaching curriculum goes along and also at the same time i feel like but teaching is not that bad because when i got into it i started to develop a passion even more because when in my first year they were like they saw that most of us were not passionate or we had prior ideas about teaching so most of us were not happy so they told us that no guys please stay in the program and then in your fourth year when you're done you can decide if you really want to do it because you are going to grow as an individual so what i just said basically summarizing everything up is that I learned that I am not for hustle culture. Like, I know teaching is not part of hustle culture. But when I say hustle culture, I mean, like, I am not interested in, like, the fast life and all these other things, you know. I'm still trying to find myself. I'm still trying to find what it is that I want to do. Do you know how hard it is to be in something and not be sure that this is what you truly want to do? Because you know that you have better and bigger capabilities for yourself. So my passions are writing i have a blog and i'm still working on my blog on my website i think now that i am doing my practicals and stuff i am gonna push more blogging content because i did make a few mistakes but i'll talk about my blogging journey in a separate video because this video is my mental health update life update that's been going on and what i can say that is that in my teaching degree i discovered that i'm passionate about youtube i'm passionate about blogging content creation and all these other things because when i had extra time while i was studying most of my time i'd spend it on youtube i would spend it reading other articles hence i started my own website so i hope to have more videos i am going to have more videos on my channel where i just speak random things i just speak random things about my life and i just show you guys that this is who i am because to be honest I don't want my life to just be a highlight reel and you can't even like relate to me to all my 79 subscribers thank you so much i i i I'll understand you like i'm still trying to find myself i'm still trying to find what it is that i'm supposed to be doing and i do a million things at once i have so many hobbies like if i can stay to my hobbies right now it'd be so crazy and in my youtube journey i was like a lot of um thing a lot of channels they tell you you know pick a niche do this do that honestly now nah, i'm delivering what i must this is what i'm gonna do for fun this is what i'm gonna do as part of my growth as part of my journey so yeah guys um yeah i do suffer from anxiety but i tell myself that everything is gonna be okay everything is gonna be all right i tend to overthink a lot like i don't trust myself at times but it's it's just that i just wanted to tell you guys that i'm still trying to learn what it is that i'm trying to do on this channel and i'm very happy at this point in my life because i decided that i am going to focus on myself i'm going to focus on my own growth i had some journal prompts it's just that they're on my phone but my current state of mind right now is to do better than what i was yesterday i am deciding declaring from today onwards that i'm not gonna compare myself or compare my growth or try to be a certain way to fit in and everything or to be this influencer or i'm just gonna be homozo and homozo will see how is she going to develop and grow if you have any other questions for me any video ideas to my 79 subscribers if you have anything please link it down below 
follow me on insta dm me how do we like get the hang of this like i'm actually here and my goal actually is to build a community you know it's difficult but i do want to build a community of people that are similar minded like me okay yeah. Oh, my video cut because if you're 20 and above you probably don't know what it is that you're supposed to be doing with your life i'm 21 i don't know what it is that i'm supposed to be doing with my life but i've decided to just live let it be um create from my most intimate parts of my thoughts and to just be me to allow myself to be creative and not everything that i post on my channel has to be aesthetically pleasing not everything that i post on my um instagram has to be aesthetically pleasing so it was a mess it was all over this thing but yeah i think you guys now get what's going on you know um i really don't know what i'm supposed to be doing with my life i'm anxious for my practicals I'm anxious for teaching. I'm anxious for so many things. But you know what I told myself? I told myself that I got this. Um, I'm a human being. I won't be teaching robots or millionaires or I'm okay. I won't be teaching like people that like I won't be teaching. I'm, okay, I'm human, so I'll be teaching other human beings, and I'm ready because I was created by God. And yeah, and I'm already ready, you know, even if whatever goes wrong in my life right now that I don't even want to talk about right now, it's fine. It's okay that it's temporary. Everything will pass. So this video is for me to tell you that if you are struggling with mental health or you're going through a lot at the moment or your thoughts are racing or everything is everywhere, you are not alone. Like mental health is it's not easy. Like you even tend to lose yourself and do things that can't kind of are destructive to your own uh to your own health because of your mental health but anyway um be okay hang in there take care of yourself practice self-care take deep breaths do your yoga tell your loved ones that you love them focus on you choose yourself don't be hard on yourself you're human um don't expect your growth to come at the same time like don't expect your growth to be to be accelerated and take every day as it comes like take every day as it is and see the little things in your day and be grateful for what you have right now i'm truly grateful for everything that i have right now because whenever i do feel depressed and sad which happens a lot i just tell myself that be grateful for one two three and that's just my mindset but i am a sad baby i, I like to see myself as one of the most saddest happiest people that you've ever seen but for now we are happy i think i'm not depressed right now i think my depression is gone because i tend to have seasonal depression um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i'll be here forever i love you guys i love you guys bye <laughs>